President Emerson Mnangagwa has urged Zimbabwean courts to deal with cases of political violence in partially at a time. Opponents accuse his administration of abusing the judiciary to settle political scores. He was speaking Monday while officially opening the Epworth Magistrates Court. Zimbabwe enters an election campaign period amid rising tensions between the country's most supported political parties, SANU-PF and PCC. Independent groups have recorded several cases of political violence, with the ruling party often fingered for their transgressions. Our courts, which are designated to deal with violence, are calling upon to deal decisively without fear or favor. Any cases, including those who seek to incite or instigate mayhem and chaos, Mnangagwa said. Opponents have accused the Zimbabwean leader of double standards after opposition activists have endured lengthy periods under pre-trial detention for often minor offenses such as attending what law enforcement authorities have deemed as unsanctioned gatherings. Opposition CCC legislator Job Sikala has seen his many attempts to seek release on bail turned down by the courts. In his comments Monday, Mnangagwa said the construction of a new court in Epworth demonstrated his government's commitment towards the decentralization and devolution of essential services. It is my expectation that this new courthouse and related facilities will enable the expeditious resolution of cases brought before the court. The completion of this court also serves as a reflection of our commitment to take justice to the people, he said. Nangagwa also urged court officials to shun corruption. I urge judicial officers and legal practitioners, among others, to keep the walls of justice clean by shunning and resisting corruption in all its facets. The offices of judges and magistrates are sacred. Integrity, fairness, and probity of these officials should thus always inspire the confidence of our people, he said. Speaking at the same occasion, Chief Justice Luke Malaba said traveling costs of litigation would be reduced after the construction of a court in the populous and crime-ridden town. The commission was particularly anxious to ensure that vulnerable members of the local community would not be impeded in their pursuit of justice by external factors such as distance and cost of travel. He said, this is crucial, particularly in matters that affect the rights of children, women, and the physically challenged who are vulnerable groups in society. Justice services have to be easily accessible to these vulnerable groups, as courts have a constitutional obligation to protect them. All of us here look forward to seeing cases brought to the court, being heard and disposed of without unreasonable delay. Malaba added, unreasonable delays in the finalization of cases by courts create in the minds of people an impression of an inefficient and ineffective system. Courts have and must, where appropriate, use the power to put an end to continued attempts to defeat the course of justice through requests for postponements of cases for purposes of delaying their finalization, he said. People from Epworth used to travel to Harare or Chitungwiza to access court services.